Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Multi-Cloud System to Avoid Server Failures. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So generally, we started using cloud systems because of various advantages that it has because we can access the file from anywhere from any kinds of devices kinds of various advantages are there but nowadays there are various cloud service providers available some of the cloud service providers are famous some of the cloud services are not, fam not famous some of the cloud services or uh, service providers are also not reliable for example if you are uploading some data and for an instance if you wanted it in emergency sometimes the server may be down the server may be crashed or there may be various reason you cannot be able to access the file so to overcome this issue so now we are going to propose multi-cloud system so that we can avoid the server failures for example we, if we are going to store the data in the cloud this cloud system based on this multi-cloud system the data will be stored in two different parts for so that if even if one cloud system is in down you can download it from other system so we are going to use coding language java so here you can see the software requirements so coding language you can execute it in windows 10 or 11 coding language is java front end contains jsp html CSS, and javascript jdk version that we have used is to jdk 21 netbeans ide we have used apache netbeans ide 20 tomcat server version apache tomcat 9.0.84 and the database that we have used is mysql database so quickly let us see the architecture you can see there are various users available they will be storing the data in the cloud and it is going to be saved in different cloud servers so that it can be easily retrieved even if in case of there is some failures in it so this is the abstract of the project so whatever i have mentioned you those details have been described and here you can see the existing system as i said in the existing system will be using single system or there is a single cloud system only so that the, the data will be stored in a particular server and the problems these you can see the disadvantages of the existing system so single point of failure or vendor lock-in or limited redundancy or security concern those these kinds of issues are available in the existing system to overcome all these issues we are going to propose this multi-cloud system where the data is to be stored in multiple clouds and here you can see the advantages of our proposed system so we have listed the advantages of proposed system here and these are the modules of the project so now let us see the execution of the project before that we are going to use as it is a cloud project we are going to use drive hq cloud service provider because this is a free it's a cloud service provider they are providing some few data uh, storing some data in it so it is a free service we are not going to use any paid service here so first uh, go to the drive hq account and create sign up and go to the sign up and create some multiple accounts one or two accounts here after creating the account it will be asking for the confirmation in your mail so just just click that activation and make make sure that your drive hq account is active in active form so now i have already created my account so now let me log in with the credentials on it so this is my uh, drive hq account you can see there is no files available in it so now let me log out from this drive hq part now open apache netbeans ide 20 so now let us see the execution of the project so first let us load the project into the netbeans ide so just go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location where in the project we have the source code folder inside that you can see this file transfer protocol just select it and then click open project now kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the netbeans id meanwhile let us attach the database in the mysql so just go to the mysql administrator and log in with the user credentials of username and password as root and root and click ok now go to the restore option in the left side panel and then select the open backup file from the right side panel and now go to the source code location
inside that you can see the database folder select the database and click start restore so now you can see the restoration operation was finished successfully message you can close it you can close this mysql administrator because we are successfully attached the database in the mysql administrator so coming back to the netbeans id the project is also being loaded into the netbeans id so now let us uh, run it so just right click it and then select run now kindly wait for a few minutes So now it asks for the authentication for the Tomcat server. I have given admin username and password as admin and admin and click OK. So now you can see the home screen and welcome screen of the project with the project title multi cloud system to avoid server failures. So here you can see the admin menu, member menu and registration menu. So first let me go to the admin. So once if you click the admin menu, it will be navigated to the admin authentication. So admin has only one username and password, which is admin and admin. So just enter the default username and password at admin and admin. A should be capital letter. Both username and password are same and then click login. So now you can see the login is success and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the admin's home page. So admin has the option of creating the cloud see the cloud details view the member details and log out so let me show you all these things one by one so first let me log out and let me go to the registration to register a new member or user so just me go to the click the registration menu it will be navigated to the member registration so here you can enter the uh, details of the member so now let me enter my details as jp password as jp gender as male age as 38 phone number double nine five two six four nine six nine zero email id as jp at gmail.com and then click submit so now you can see the registration is done message and click ok so now if you go to the member details the member can be able to log in with the username and password that i have created and click ok so now you can see the members home page which can the member as the options of uploading the file see the transactions and see the reports and they can log out so now if you go to the admin just go to the admin login and enter the admin credentials and login into the admin page if you go to the member details you can see the new member which i have created is updated so now uh, we don't have any cloud created so now let us create the cloud just go to the create cloud part so here the first important thing you need to note is here it has the cloud ip where you need to enter the drive hq ftp account so just enter ftp dot drive hq dot com so just enter this without any spelling mistake so i have given in the So just enter this without any spelling mistake ftp.drivehq.com in case if you are not uh, entering correctly if there is any mistake it will not upload the file into the drive hq or the cloud service so now you enter your username and password i am entering my username and password So enter your username and password don't enter the same whatever i given it is my account details enter your account details and here you can select the status as active in case if you are selected as, as disabled the file will not upload in the drive hq so let me create it so now you can see the cloud is created if you go to the cloud details you can see the cloud details that i have created drive ftp drive hq username active it is status is active so in this way you can able to create any number of cloud accounts so now i'll i have created one cloud only and show you what happens if the user uploads so just let me go to the member login i'll just log in with the member details and let me log in and now if you go to the upload part so here you can see now the number of cloud is one how many number of clouds you are creating it will be automatically updated here so now let me create a sample file in the desktop so let me create a file name called testing one i'll just name the file name as testing one and let me enter as a multi cloud test one 
inside that I'll just enter the sample data. Now I will select this file testing one and then click upload. So now you can see it is has to set check the reports and click OK. So now if you go to the reports, you can see the user JP has uploaded the file name testing onetxt and it is success and you can see the details of it. So here I wanted to mention a better use txt files only because Drive HQ is a free service provide. We are using free account. So if you are using more uh, more data, they in the may ask for the premium subscription so now so i'm not going to use it so i'm just going to use with the small sizes only so i'm going to prefer only txt files here so now the file it says that it is success so now let me go to the drive hq and verify it so now let me log in with let me log in with my account and now you can see texting one.txt whichever i created is uploaded successfully which means that what uh, the our drive hq the multi-cloud system is working fine so now let me log out from this so now if the user wanted to download it they can able to download from the transactions of the report so now let me click uh, download so now it says that check transaction so now the file has been downloaded successfully so you can see the the file is now downloaded successfully so just go to the d drive so here you can see testing one is now downloaded just to open this you can see multi cloud test one which are we entered it is you can see the time also 255 255 you can see the details so now it is exactly uploaded and downloaded so now what I'm going to do is like I will just delete this file which is downloaded. I'm going to delete the file which is uploaded in the cloud also. I'll just delete this file also. So now let me sign out. So now if I go to the transaction, if I'm going to download it again, let us check what happened. Just click click here. So again, it says check transaction, just go to the reports. So you can see it is not updated anything. We see the time it is not updated, which means that it is not, it is the file is not available. So if you go to the D drive also, you can see the file is empty, that the contents are not available. So the file is with zero size. So the file is not downloaded from the cloud because the source file we have up whichever we uploaded in the drive hq is deleted so now i will create multiple cloud and show you so let me go to the admin so now i have gone into the admin i'll go to the create cloud so now let me create the next cloud account so just enter the ftp.drivehq so the username of the second cloud account don't give the same whatever account you are having just give it i'll just select status as active and create so now if you go to the cloud details you can see the two different accounts whatever we created is updated so now let me log out and go to the member Member login. So now I will create another text file testing two. Testing two multi cloud project testing two. I'll just name this content inside this and just upload this file now testing two here you can see the number of cloud now is two because we have created two different clouds now so how many number of clouds you are creating it will be updated automatically here and let me click upload so now you it says that check the report and click ok so now if you go to the report you can see testing two is done two times success and success so same time it is uploaded in two different clouds it is done successfully 
so now let me log out and go to the drive both the drive account which are we are given and we are, we can check it out so first drive account i'm logging in here you can see testing 2.txt whichever we uploaded it is uploaded successfully now second account i log So here you can see again the testing to the same file is being uploaded successfully so the multi cloud system is working fine now so now what i'm going to do i'll just delete any of the one so what i'm going to do i'll just log in and delete any of the files so now the one of the file is available on one file one drive hq account and one drive hq account it is not available so now the member logs in and they wanted the file to be downloaded so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download the file so just let me click this uh, click here so it has to check the transaction here you can see now it is uh, not updated anything the file is not downloaded because we have deleted that file so now let me go to the d drive here you can see the testing 2 is created inside that you can see there is no data available because the second account which I, we have deleted the those from the source itself so now as we have uploaded in a multiple uh, it, this is, is multi-cloud so the user can so now the user is going to download from the first the cloud which we have created just click click here so now it has to check the transaction if you go to the report you can see the time now 3 1 which is updated so which is success so now it is downloaded from the first drive cloud cloud account so just go to the d drive now and just refresh you can see testing 2 is with the inside that you have the data whichever we created which means that the file is downloaded from the other cloud immediately so while uploading the user is uploading only once but it is uploading to two different accounts multiple accounts not only two how many accounts you are creating it will be uploaded in all the places and whenever the user wants in case if there is any failure you can the, if you go to the transactions you can see whichever is success and failed you can see so whichever is failed immediately the, the user can shift to the other cloud and they can able to download so that the file will be safe and secure and can be accessible any time whenever they need it and finally in the admin page so in the admin page we have seen how to create the cloud what are the cloud available who are all the members available all the details we have checked it and this is all about the project multi-cloud system to avoid system failures and thank you for watching.